know, was kind of out of the game a little bit. And he just told me, hey, Max, keep your head up. You're going to make a play here. We're going to need you. You're going to make a big one. And, uh, you know, he was just encouraged me to stay with it and, uh, you know, not give up and just keep my head in the game. And when I had an opportunity to make a big play. Did you worry at all that they put you on the sideline? Uh, I wasn't too worried about it because they've been sticking with me the whole year. You know, if they would put me on the sideline, I, I wouldn't have been mad because I wasn't producing like I was supposed to. And uh, you know, you know, it was just he stuck with me in the end, so it worked out. Max, uh, as a senior, uh, talk about uh, going out uh, this Idaho program with the bowl victory. Man, I just I can't even say enough about you know. All my teammates and the coaches, how much I'm gonna miss them. It means so much for you know all the hard times we've been through to finish my senior year like this. The core group of seniors, you know, we all stuck together through the hard times, and to win a game like this is huge. And uh, I couldn't ask for a better way to go out. Max, the celebration right after the two pointer. What was that like? What did you see out there? Man, I just, just people rushing you, just it was kind of like a mosh pit. Uh, that's what it was out there. Everyone was just happy partying, you know, people slapping you on the head. And, uh, it was just a great time, you know, for the fans as well. They've been, you know, waiting 10 years now for this. And to be able to do this for them, it means a lot as well. And it was, they showed great support down here. And uh, without them, it would have been possible. Did, did you lobby at all for the two point conversion? Were you, were you part of the offense that was going through saying? Um, I was just kind of sitting back, you know, let Coach make the decision. You know, that's that's him. And, uh, you know, when he said he was going for two, you know, I was right behind, I was behind him with the decision. And uh, the play we called, there's a lot of options out of that play. And uh, it worked out exactly how we planned. Were you on the field for that play? No, I wasn't on the field for that play. What did you see from the sideline? Um, what I see from the sideline, it's a route. It's, you know, it's a really good route. It's where the tight end drags across and it tracks the linebacker and then Preston runs a short dig in the back of the end zone. And the defense they're playing, they run a, you know, a flat cover seven on the goal line. And that play, we've been practicing that play all week for the two-point conversion and we stuck with it. Did you run that play at all this year? Uh, no, we haven't ran it this year. Um, it's I, actually maybe... Actually, no, we haven't ran it this year, but it's a play that we've had in our playbook the whole year. If we were going to do two-point conversion, that's the play we we're going to use. And every every Thursday practice, when we practice our two-point conversion play, that we, if we were going to execute one, that's the play we we always practice. And you know, I think all that practice paid off. And is that your two-point play because you guys know generally the defense tends to forget about the last two yards of the end zone? So um, I, I think it's. Uh, our two-point play just because there's so many different options out of it. You know, uh, they have a fade ball with Greenwood in there. You can take that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Or we also have the three receiver side. And it's just the best play possible, the most options. And it's perfect in the goal line, especially with the two-yard wrench. This might have been asked already, but just uh, talk about what went through your mind, uh, the, the touchdown play. Man, it was just a big relief off my back, just you know, being able to help my teammates out and do whatever I can to contribute. I you know it wasn't my best game, but I saved the best for last, and I was just I was real happy about it, and it's basically all. Max, how did it feel to be part of one of the great finishes ever? Man, it feels great. Just uh, I never could imagine we would my senior year we would have finished a bowl game like this, and. Uh, just being able, you know, teammates be able to stick with it and fight, you know, never give up. That's how we were all year long. And uh, like Preston was saying, we're a family, so we're just doing it for each other. And we're also doing it for the University of Idaho and the WAC Conference. And to be able to finish off like this is just a, it's a blessing. You guys played a lot of close games this year. Do you think that might have given you a little bit of edge in terms of the mentality? Yeah, I think it gave us, it gave us an edge, definitely. You know, our two-minute offense is something we've executed really well all year. And we were comfortable in the situation we're in. You know, it's definitely not your ideal situation you want to be in, but we were also really prepared. And, you know, that goes out to our coaches, you know, just every week. That's what we always execute our two-minute offense. And that play to Preston was one of those plays that we always practice every week, too. And on a situation, we need a long chunk, chunk of yards. And, you know, it worked out.